Hi everyone. I know it's not Friday yet, it's Thursday. Well, it may be a different day when you're watching it, but I am recording this on Thursday. And you see all sorts of reflection, all the lights are off, it's just a super bright sunny day. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I thought I'd bring you some randomness today. Uh, first bit of randomness, for those of you who have Kindle Fires, they are now sold out on Amazon. And that's probably due to the fact that there is an announcement, a meeting set up on September 6th, which is next week, uh, likely to be showcasing and releasing Kindle Fire 2. The only Kindle that is currently available, and it's kind of a bummer for us because my dad's birthday is the 9th and we're going to get him a fire, Kindle Fire, and they're only available as refurbished, which I kind of don't want to give him a refurbished item. Anyway. So I'm re I saw a couple of possible sneak peeks of what Kindle Fire 2 looks like. If I get one, can would my dad be offended if I give him this one? There are a couple of little chips on the plastic housing or on the side housing. I don't know, that would be kind of cheesy. He's turning 65. It's a big milestone. We're doing a big barbecue for at their house and it should be fun, but no, nah, I have a dilemma. Um we'll see. We'll figure that out. Um, actually, well, let's do roll call. How many of you have Kindle Fire? And would you, now having it, buy it anyway if you had the opportunity? Like, if you, everything that you know now, would you still purchase it? I, I use it every day, multiple times a day. One of the things that I cannot do at work is check personal email, so this is kind of sits by the side of my desk without having to have multiple computers in the same room. I have a laptop in the other room for personal reasons, for, pers for, for personal use. I have a travel laptop that we usually take when we go on road trips. We have a desktop upstairs in the guest room. I, we've really, this is the by far the easiest because it's wireless and I can go out and sit in the garden or um, I could take it with me when we go on close trips. More and more places have Wi-Fi, so it's really easy to use. Anyway, so that was one. Two, um, I could probably turn this off so you don't staring. Oh, you'll be staring at my camera. There it is. Uh, the other thing that I have been slowly but surely working on is that the unit that I have on the side of my desk, the one that I got from Harbor Freight, it does fit an enormous amount of supplies, and it's brilliant. And it is. I'm really happy that I got it but I'm finding that I'm kind of shoving things in, so I'm going to organize it. I'm gonna take everything off, and I'll do a before photograph, and I'll do an after photograph, um, and I'll put that on my blog, and I'll include links in the, below, um, in the description below once I have it up. So in the process of going through everything, I decided, well, let me take a peek at some of these bottles of stuff that I have, like the acrylics, some crackle paints, and really organize it, because if something is, not in good usable condition I shouldn't keep it especially if I have multiples like I was finding that I had glossy accents with like a um, schnibbles at the bottom and schnibbles is a word my husband's or my mother-in-law apparently said to the kids when they went to my husband and his two brothers uh, meaning little pieces I'm not really sure where that gen whether that's an actual word in German or not but I know I need to check my acrylic paints and kind of organize things better because the way it is now, and again, I'll take photographs and show you, it's disorganized. But the for the amount of for the amount of that it takes, the footprint that it takes on my desk, you can get a lot store a lot of items stored. But I have to use it wiser. So um, as a matter of fact, um, Harbor Freight sent me an email because they saw. A review that I did of the tool and quite honestly for those of you who are watching this video because you are crafters you know that if this item was produced or created by a crafting company it would be double if not more the price so sometimes looking for utilitarian items outside of the crafting community world is a good idea because you could find items that will really help you store a lot more particularly when it comes to storage it's not the kind of thing that I'm going to be taking to crops actually I've never been to a crop so 
I don't really travel for crafting. On occasion, I might go to my uh, local scrapbooking store and meet up with some uh, local uh, YouTubers, but that's that's the extent of it. So I'm going to organize that, and in the process, um, I decided to look at every single one of my Distress Crackle paints. And here's a little tip for those of you whose Crackle paints might have dried up. They are warrantied. So you, all you have to do is take a photograph of it and email it to, I think there's even an address, maybe not here. Um, yeah, go to Ranger Inc. and find an addr email address for the customer service and email it to them. They have a fabulous replacement policy if an item does not perform as expected. If these are airtight seals, which they are, I mean, if you left the cap off, then... Mm, shame on you but if it's because of some other reason that it dried up inside you will get a replacement so don't toss them and don't try to jimmy rig them yourself because if you add product to it whether it's water or distilled water the crackling is going to alter because there is a chemical um, reaction that occurs depend because of the ratio of the products in the bottle so that's another tip so I'm just going to be going through my supplies and kind of looking to see what I need to clean up, um, what I need to organize better. For example, I had two distress uh, ink daubers or these distress stain daubers in a completely different place. I kind of have to put them all together. So that's what I'm going to be working on hopefully today after work. And I'm on vacation next week. We're only doing... Uh, road tri like local tri uh, day trips two days out of the week it's also a holiday week so I think one day I'm going to be on Ustream uh, and I would like for you guys to leave me in the comments below um, a suggestion of what you would like for me to make and then I'll post a schedule and post uh, an actual time so you know where to find me so let's see did I mention anybody? oh and the one thing I keep forgetting I have forgotten to do this I think for the last three weeks maybe uh, Friday fun bits the easiest way to leave suggestions besides leaving comments in the description you know below the video is to go to the Friday fun bits Facebook page if you have Facebook I'll include a link in the description below where you can join the Friday fun bits which I think might be a kind of a fun way to interact uh, I know some people are hesitant on posting video responses on YouTube so Maybe you'd, you know, it'd be easier for you to do it in a group on Facebook. So I'll include that link below as well. And, you know, as always, if you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. So I'm going to go through the rest of my Distress Crackle Paints. I don't think I have any issues. I might have a little bit with... No, I guess the Tarnished Grass is good, too. I don't remember if they had Tarnished Silver. That would be really cool. But I suppose I could use Broken China and Tarnished Brass to make them look together. I don't know. I'll play around. Can you tell I just had some caffeine? <laughs> By way of Mountain Dew. Oi. Okay, I think that's it for right now. Um, yep, thanks for watching, everyone. Oh! Use one of the thumbs. Thumbs up. Right there. Right there. Look, right there. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already subscribe. And share if you're loving. Thanks for watching, everyone.